this thing is crazy. <laughs> this thing is so, it's so good. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Quentin with DAS Developers as a Service coming back to make another episode of Better Bots. I'm incredibly excited to talk about this today because it's blowing up my timeline. Of course, I'm talking about chat GPT. If you haven't seen it because you live under a rock, whatever, it's insane. It's going to change the world. I used it for fun a couple days ago. Hadn't really thought much about it, but I was stumped on an actual thought that I had. So I thought, hmm, let me see if I can use it to actually get me sales. So I just wanted to share with you everything that it shared with me because it's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. So I started out by just asking it very simple, just saying hello. And then I said, I'm trying to create a list of businesses that would benefit from my services. And, you know, it gave me a response that I would expect a lot of this to be on Google or, you know, just general chat bots would be able to do this. Nothing too much. And I decided to take the conversation a little further because that's what these things are made for. They're made to be conversational. I said, my main service is recruiting remote software developers. What kind of businesses would benefit from the most from my service? So I wanted to pose a critical thought. And the response it gave me, I, I really did not expect. It said, businesses that are looking to hire software developers would likely benefit from your service. Okay, makes sense. To create a list of businesses that would benefit from your service, you could start by researching companies and industries that commonly use software developers. So it's actually showing a train of thought. It's saying, this is a way you could go. And I wanted to challenge it just a little bit more and say, okay, tell me, what kind of companies do you think would have the most difficulty recruiting remote developers without my services? Because that's what we specialize in, is, is finding software developers, remote software developers, uh, for companies that wouldn't normally be able to do that. So it's difficult to say for certain which companies. This kind of creeped me out a little bit. The fact that it, it took it as a challenge to say, hmm, you know, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Here's some things that you can use to uh, evaluate your search. Companies that are not well known don't have a strong reputation. So it's putting together the fact that these challenges are actually related to these solutions. That's critical thinking and problem solving at its most basic level. That is exactly what critical thinking and problem solving exemplifies. This is how you would go about solving this problem. Most chatbots are not capable of doing that. Most chatbots, in fact, are really only doing one thing, and that is just predicting what the next word in the sentence is going to be. They don't really take in dialogue and create critical thoughts. So then I took it a little bit further and said, what do you think would be the easiest way to find companies that need my service? So I'm actually asking it to help me prospect. So help me actually find companies for my business. And I am just shocked. I mean, look at this. There are a few different ways you could find companies that need your services. Here you go. Use online directories or job boards. I mean... Are you kidding me? Network with other professionals in the technology. Attend events. I mean, this is, guys, this is so far beyond a search engine or a chatbot. This is, I mean, this is critically thinking and providing opinions. So the reason that this is so crazy is because right now it's only being used for fun. People are just kind of interacting with it back and forth. You have to have a human to interact with it in the chat window right now. Eventually, these guys are going to add APIs. They're going to add application interfaces that are going to allow external websites, businesses, apps to integrate with this model and create actually useful applications. I don't know what's going to come next. This is insane. But... One thing I can say for sure is that this is a new type of revolution. Shamath, one of the early uh, investors in Facebook, was saying that the thing that's going to come next, right after this crazy expansion of technology, is going to absolutely be a bubble. You're going to see all these crazy companies and startups come after this technology to white label it and use it in their own way. So let me know your thoughts. I cannot wait to see what happens with this. It's an entirely new breakthrough and... Great job to the guys at OpenAI, but definitely got a lot of eyes on you now, so be responsible with it.